How's it going guys? My name is Gary. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some frontside 180. Basically a frontside 180 is just an ollie with an 180 degrees rotation. The difference between frontside 180 and backside 180 is that the front of your body is looking in the direction that your skateboard is going in and in the direction that you're just going in in general. So that's the difference between frontside 180 as opposed to backside 180 where it, your back is facing the direction that you're going in. But that's besides the point. Let's get right into it. First off we're going to start with foot placement. As you can see right here, the most basic frontside 180 foot placement is to just have your front toe hanging off the edge of the board as you can see right here. It's just probably the most comfortable position. As for the back foot, you're just going to want to have it in this like back pocket area over here. And basically, what you're going to want to do is just shuffle your feet around, make sure that it's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be in this exact placement. It could just be wherever on the board that it just feels comfortable for you. After you get your foot placement down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop your frontside 180 as if you were popping an ollie and you got to remember to rotate your shoulders. If you don't rotate your shoulders as you're doing this step, it is going to be very hard for you to actually follow through with 180 degrees rotation and you're pretty much going to go nowhere. So as you start winding up your shoulders, what you're going to want to do with your feet is you're going to want to simultaneously pop the board. You're going to want to slide up just as if it was a regular ollie. You're basically just going to want to push it over and just with your feet, just kind of guide it all the way around until it completes the rotation. It's pretty much all on the front foot. The front foot just kind of guides the front side 180. So as soon as you just kind of pop, just kind of rotate your foot and just kind of push the nose of the board in the direction that you want to go in and the rest of the board will just follow through and then you just gotta land and then you can roll away a lot of people actually say that the whole point of rotation is in the back foot meaning that the back foot scoops the skateboard and makes it go all the way around but I think that's actually not the case I think the case is that the back foot is just for popping and the front foot is actually what guides the board as you can see right here this is a very exaggerated front side 180 this is not how your front side 180 is supposed to look like but I just did them like this so you guys could see that the front foot really does play a part in it and it's not just for getting into the air it actually guides the board and it actually is what completely the rotation. Just like with getting higher ollies, you're going to want to be able to bring your knees up when you're doing front out in 80s. This just allows you to have more time to be able to complete the full rotation and um, it just helps overall. I've seen people try to do this trick without even bringing their knees up and they don't do the complete rotation or they do the rotation but then they slip out because they're in an awkward stance and it's not really comfortable. Basically the more you bring your knees up, the cooler the trick will look, the easier it'll be and it'll just be good overall. Another big part of the front side 180 is that you need to be able to roll away in a switch stance so just ride around switch and just kind of get used to it because if you can't ride around switch then basically as soon as you land the front side 180 you're either going to slip out or you're going to step off the board because you're not comfortable to it you're not used to it so you definitely have to get yourself used to it the reason that you actually have to roll around switch and just kind of get used to it is because it builds up confidence so when you actually go to do the front side 180 it's a lot easier for you and you can land it a lot quicker after you can do front side 180s on flat pretty good i suggest you guys just take them everywhere just do them on office stairs over things things and just have fun with front and 80s it's a very very fun trick to do i really enjoy doing them so you guys will enjoy doing them as well and after you just learn them regular you could go ahead learn them switch maybe learn them fakey and just have fun with them they're very fun tricks so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this trick tip if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below leave a comment down below letting me know what tricks you guys want to see next and anyways guys thank you all for watching have a nice day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace That's what happens when you learn front on 180s. Random old people just start clapping for you on the street. Tasting a nigga and she wanna know, yeah, got a third arm and it hang kinda low. Now call me daddy, I father these bastards and he come to win. You turn in the ashes, your girl put the brill of my gun in her mouth. She pulled the trigger and her faces got blasted. Came with the dome and she left me ecstatic. I threw up the deuce like that Falcon boy Maddie.